Toyota unveiled the new generation of its hybrid Aris in January of this year. Now the compact is being joined by a new station wagon, the Aris Touring Sports. We tested the hybrid version of the Aris with the mid-range equipment features known as Life. Fog lights, a height adjustable passenger seat, and the multimedia sound system Toyota Touch are just some of the standard features. With that wealth of extras, Toyota hopes to convince customers who are still skeptical about the hybrid Aris. Test driver Matas Kurat says that especially in Europe, there's still some slight growth in the market for compact cars and station wagons. So it makes sense that Toyota is trying to fill that niche with the Aris Touring Sports, hoping to steal some customers away from the competition. Even genau in diese Nische auch noch rein möchte, um da noch ein paar Kunden den Wettbewerbern wegzuschnappen. The station wagon aims to be lighter and more dynamic than its rivals. The hybrid powertrain has three modes to increase fuel efficiency. Matis shows us the three buttons on the dashboard, electric vehicle or EV mode, eco and power mode. In EV mode, the car can drive up to two kilometers on the batteries alone, at a speed of around 50 kilometers an hour. That's perfect for a short jaunt around the city, but when the gas-powered engine kicks in, consumption turns out to be higher than the official data. Mantis says manufacturers' consumption figures are rarely accurate. Toyota says the Aris Touring Sports uses 3.7 liters as a hybrid. The reality is closer to five, five and a half. But that's still good for a gasoline engine. The price of the new Aris is also compelling. The hybrid station wagon we tested cost 24,400 euros. Weight, the chassis, space utilization, and the powertrain, all were central considerations in designing the Aorus Touring Sports. Engineers and designers worked in close collaboration. The fruit of their labors was built in Toyota's Bernaston plant in England. Mata says Europe is a big market for station wagons, so it's not surprising that Toyota developed the Aorus Touring Sports in Europe and built it in Britain. The blue backing on the Toyota logo symbolizes the car's hybrid status. And the large red cable shows how that hybrid technology is integrated. The design of the headlights and fog lights is new. the large tail lights dominate the car's rear. Back to the test drive. Toyota engineers have installed a CVT, or continuously variable transmission. Matas doesn't particularly like the CVT transmission. He says when you hit the accelerator, the engine revs higher, but there's no relative change in speed. But he admits it could just take some getting used to. Energy storage usually takes up lots of room in a hybrid. And what about our test vehicle? Toyota's Marcos Bergma says there are no space reductions, which is important in a station wagon. They need room and flexibility, and that goes for hybrids as well. There can't be any compromises, so the battery is placed out of the way behind the rear seats. Without the rear seats folded down, there's enough storage space to fit two large suitcases in the back. The cockpit is well organized and attractive in black and silver. But it's one thing to look good. How does it feel? 
Mata says the designers really went to a lot of trouble with the interior. Everything fits together and the materials feel great. The dashboard even comes with leather trimming in this Aros Touring Sports. There's a good overview and everything is easy to reach. But he says the Japanese car maker doesn't do buttons well. On the steering wheel, they're too big and clunky. Toyota's Aros Hybrid Touring Sports. It's a long name for a car. But the hybrid could make an impact with its fuel economy and low starting price.